able to give you all these updates and give you some of the very important tips uh, when it comes to what you call the Gulf countries. Yes, someone was asking me about salary. Yes, a lot of compulsions have been made regarding to what you call salary. How much I earn? Why is it what I earn is different from another counterpart who is working or who is doing the same role? Or why is it that the compulsion of salary or there are different salaries to different groups in the Gulf? Yes, first of all, something that I'll agree with you, something we'll agree with you is that the Gulf the money or the salary that's being paid to all employees is what we call tax free. That's one thing that we we'll consider. Yes, we're looking at most of these Gulf countries, or most of looking at most of these Gulf countries. Let me try to take a focus and look at what we call Qatar. Yes, looking at Qatar itself right now, we'll look at a situation by whereby there are factors that will determine how much you are going to be how much you are going to be paid. Yes, most of you will agree with me. Less in my own experience, I'm going to look at what you call uh, three factors that's a disclaimer being that I'm looking at the comparison I'm, I'm seeing what's it all about in the system of the government right now or in the system the economy system yes I'm going to focus myself on three points that will help me to help you to understand the different the differences in the salary that's being paid to different people or different category of people one we look at what you call education it can be influenced by education then something else that you need to understand is experience then also we'll look at something the demand for what you call the available skills is going to determine how much you are going to earn or how much you'll be earning at a particular period of time some of you will agree with me when the level of education is high and your papers are being asserted by the ministry of labor the ministry of foreign affairs definitely well and good if there's a good opportunity or a good company that will take you based on that then definitely will take you and will be able to be earning a higher salary will be able to earn a more a more comparatively salary more than any other person yes still agree on that we'll look at what we call the experience how much your experience you have on that particular role is also going to help you to to going to help you to either earn this or handle yes you've heard that most of the people that with available skills and have had those skills with high experiences in any way you find that they've been earning or earn a higher little bit amount of money compared to the other uh, people with a lower skill so definitely love with me that you will not have the same salary scale in one or the other so also remember that education sometimes also education also goes hand in hand with the experience why i'm giving comparatively those two points to define them that experience on its own that you find that some people that do not have uh, have not had or do not have the education but well they have enough experience of 20 years 30 years during the same task so meaning that they have the past they have that required knowledge or they have those required skills and they can be recruited best based on that merit to be working in a particular role and most of you you phone them on that kind of particular job where someone has worked for 30 years or 20 years in the same area meaning that he has the level of expertise is more than someone who's just coming into the country at that level then also we look at what you call um, demand based on what you call the available skills most of you will agree with me for example you'll find that uh, there may be demand for a particular skill or a particular task or a particular person or personnel in a given sector then they will be recruited and its salary all will be depending on that one on how differently you will have to go into negotiate with what is your skill or what you have or what you can put on table at that particular time that's why most of the time i say people are always keep on advising if you have the opportunity you have the chance you can try to keep on to go up and try to upgrade in one or the other because comparatively you're trying to upgrade is going to help you to to receive comparatively be able to apply to those career that have a higher salary compared to what you have at the time most of you yes most of us or most of you when you come to these Gulf countries you'll agree with me you come on what we call a startup basis on what we call starter salary or startup jobs just enable you to come into the country to explore the available opportunity the available opportunity for you to move into the level then we, uh, last one i'm going to look at what you call the blue collar job the blue collar shop the low the low level skill job we have the low skill jobs you find that still also in the low skill jobs like for example you have housekeeping cleaning security you find that the compulsion also will be based on the the category that is available there that in those cases you find that some people that are coming from different countries have a higher salary compared to the people coming from this higher salary yes for that regard we will not say we will not talk about just try to impress and talk about what you call the merit of different people on an individual but it's going to depend on what you call the agreement the, the the labor agreement the labor pact agreement that your country have 
with that country did definitely it's going to say that my skills when i'm giving my labor it will be definitely in this one and this will be the minimum or should be the minimum for this payment for this kind of labor so you find in that kind of case you find those compulsions will be there and definitely you're going to see that uh, the doctors are going to be earn more money the teachers or we have the executive we have the manager the ceo all these categories are going to be earning more than but however something that definitely i should understand i should let you understand is that the minimum salary that will be paid by all employees in qatar it should be 1000 that is for the basic eight hours uh, 1000 then including what you call food allowance which is 300 and then also something that we need to consider in case that company or in case that a sponsor does not give you accommodation you'll have to give a top a top up of what you call 500 for that you can top up to look for your accommodation so that's according to the gazette of the law in march 2021 that was uh, giving what you call the minimum wage. So with all those factors, you can definitely tend to compare. You you definitely sit and analyze that the compulsion comes within whatever in those kind of regards, in those kind of points that are being given to you in one way or the other. That's why you find the doctor, you find the teacher, you find they have different uh, salary compulsion in any way or the other. Hope I've tried to up something for you. Thank you so much. By the way, it's, it's your first time come across this channel. Don't forget to hesitate and don't forget to subscribe. Remember, stories makes trying to give you all this.